Hi, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the engraving options that are found in Dorico, the new music notation software from Steinberg. Dorico uses rules to determine how to draw the music you input, what the music items look like and how they are positioned relative to other items. But in every area of music notation there are always several different approaches that one can take and while we have made great effort to ensure Dorico's default output is sensible and elegant, other options are always available. And rather than making edits across the score, a fundamental concept of Dorico is that you set your engraving options once and they then take effect throughout your music. We wanted to make choosing between these different options as easy and approachable as possible, and so we created the Engraving Options dialog. You'll find the Engraving Options dialog in Engrave mode, under the Engrave menu, and you can always use the key command Control shift e that's Command-Shift-E on Mac, to open the dialog from any mode. Down the left-hand side of the dialog is a list of all the categories the options are divided into. The main body of the dialog shows the options for the selected category. They are divided into sections so that similar options are grouped together, and we use actual musical examples to illustrate exactly what it is you are modifying. Engraving options are always concerned with the graphical appearance of your music. There are other options dialogues that deal with things like setting up page layouts and how to represent the musical data, so things like note and beam grouping. Engraving options control all aspects of the drawing of your music. There are options to control the appearance of items, for example controlling how dynamics look by default, what sort of arpeggio line to use, and how to draw metronome marks. There are options to control the design of music items, such as the thickness of bar lines and the gaps between them, how brackets are drawn, and the thickness and height of slurs. There are multiple options for determining how music items are arranged and work together with other objects, such as rules for stacking accidentals and how articulations are placed with slurs and ties. Dorico gives you complete control over the positioning of music items, including slurs, articulations, and beams. There are even options to control the more general approach to the look of the music, so you can choose the correct bracketing for your ensemble, or use old-style rests and multibar rests if they are better suited to the project you are working on. Of course, these are just a handful of examples, and there are literally hundreds of options available for you to use. Engraving options take effect across the whole project, including all flows in all layouts. However, they do not affect other projects until you click this button to save as default. Then, all new projects will inherit the options you have modified. And of course, it is always possible to override for individual items any options set globally using the Properties panel in either Write mode or Engrave mode. If this video has been helpful to you, please consider liking it by clicking on the thumbs up button and you can subscribe to our Dorico channel to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.